Renew Hope Initiative Economic Empowerment Program has flagged off recapitalization grants for 1,000 women petty traders in Abuja. First Lady Senator Oluremi Tinibu said the initiative is aimed at empowering women and supporting local economies. FCT correspondent Naomi Oleribe brings us details. The First Lady, represented by Mandate Secretary for Women Affairs in the FCT, Dr. Ade Dayo, Benjamin Laniye revealed that a total of 1.85 billion naira will be distributed to 37,000 female petty traders across the nation. Once there is no hunger, there will be no anger. And this word, Naim, this government renewed hope. Naim renewed hope initiative of First Lady. One use assure everybody. Grow your food to eat your food. And when you grow your food, you know it will be more than your own. You begin to gather. Give your neighbor. When you give your neighbor, it will still be more. You and your neighbor, you will now have neighborhood farm markets. Minister of State for the FCT, Dr. Maria Mahmoud, represented by Hajiya Majida Adamu, FCT coordinator of the Social Investment Program, in her address, highlighted the significant investments the Renewed Hope Initiative has made in human capital, especially in areas of economic empowerment, education, health, social investment, and agriculture. Ladies and gentlemen, by investing in women's growth, we are fostering economic development and uh, creating opportunities for a brighter future. The First Lady reaffirmed that economic empowerment remains a core objective of the Renewed Hope Initiative, which aligns with President Bola Tinibu's reforms. Naomi Oleribe, ADBN News. In a related development, Renewed Hope Initiative of the wife of the President, Senator Oluremi Tinibu, under its Economic Empowerment Recapitalization Program, has empowered 1,000 petty traders in a Kwaipum state. Senator Luremi Tinibu, who disclosed this during the empowerment event, which took place at the government house, Uyo, charged the beneficiaries to make good use of the funds. ADBN government house correspondent Mary Uyumechi tells us more. Represented by the Akwaibom State Deputy Governor, Senator Akon Inyaini, Senator Oluremi Tinibu, in her remarks, said the empowerment program was part of her continued commitment to better lives in the family units, stating that through provision of grants, women who are affected by the current economic reforms in the country would be able to navigate through the challenges and assure that more women would be captured in subsequent batches. The grants provided today is to assist our women perpetrators in overcoming some of their business challenges, expand their businesses, create more jobs, and contribute more robustly to our economy. Akwaibom State Governor Pastor Emoina, represented by the Secretary to the State Government, Prince Inobong Owa, in his remarks, thanked Senator Oluremi Tinibu for the initiative which he said is geared towards supporting families through agriculture, noting that the empowerment program aligns with the Arise agenda of his administration and has made available a 2 billion naira facility for traders to access to ensure food security in the state. It is deeply happy to know that the notice of emphasis placed on agriculture education, health, economic empowerment, and social investments as the critical pillars of the Renewable Initiative. This is exemplified by today's program, which is a Renewable Initiative free capitalization grant for 1,000 women getting trainers. In her address, Akwaibom State First Lady, Pastor Patience Ino, represented by the State Commissioner for Women Affairs and Social Welfare, Dr. Ini Adiakwan, commended the Governor Moino led administration for ensuring that the Renewed Hope Initiative is implemented in the state with additional packages to support and better the lives of the elderly and vulnerable groups in the state. Your yeah, hope oh, has been renewed.
Speaking on behalf of the beneficiaries, Mrs. Mercy Udofia, while expressing gratitude to Senator Oluremi for the thoughtful initiative, stressed that the grant will enable them to expand their businesses, enhance their livelihoods, and relieve their families from the burden of borrowing from financial institutions. I want to appreciate the God of mercy that made it possible for us to be here. Also to appreciate the work of our president, the president of our HR, that programmed this project to come at my face today. We pray the God of mercy is blessed and bless the Lord in Jesus' name. The event featured the symbolic presentation of the check by Akwaibom State Deputy Governor, Senator Akun Inyaini. Mary Onyemechi, ADPN News.